This video was published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video, we're just going to talk about cleaning your blade if you need to clean it. Um, typically, you know, the best way to clean it would just be to remove your blade, take it to a workbench, lay it flat where it's safer, and clean it there. Um, but if, um, and a lot of times you just want to replace your blade. So you can use a replace your blade video for that to see how to take off the blade and then you just clean it while it's on a workbench. Or you just replace your blade with a new blade. But if you if you already got it up your blade's fine, if it's fairly new, and you don't want to take the blade off, you just want to do a quicker clean while it's still on the cutter, this is what you would do. The first thing you want to do is make sure, make sure your paper pushes back a little ways, like back towards the back, because if it's up close, you're going to have a harder time cleaning the back of the blade. So send your paper push back to maybe 18 inches or something. And then um, you're basically wanna, gonna wanna drop your blade and um, to, the, to get the back of it. So you wanna basically, you're gonna do it, simulate a cut and just let go of the cut buttons when it gets down low. You probably wanna let go when it's about an inch away because it will, it will usually travel a little bit on its own, so I'm gonna do that. You basically wanna stop it when it's at the very bottom. And let it slide. See, that's a little too high you could potentially cut yourself there while you're cleaning it. I mean, if you're careful, that's fine, but you got to always remember this blade is super sharp, even if it's an older blade. It's like a giant razor blade. But I'd like to get it down a little lower. It's still up about a quarter of an inch, so I'm going to reverse it. Try it again, see if I can get it all the way to the red pad. There, okay. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is take this um, back back um, cover off and there's just I already take them out to make this quicker but there's four Phillips screws on the corners you just take it off and then you're gonna take this top crown off and there's two screws on each side you got um I've already taken them off but two Phillips on each side and once you get those Phillips off you want to um, turn this cutter off you want it on when you're unplug it when you're taking this off I just usually lift it up and, and on, the, on this and I if you got two people, one person can lift it up and the other person can unplug it. There's gonna be a wire that's going up up there, you just wanna unplug that. And then you can take this off. Set it to the side. And now you got um, your front, you can cut, clean your front. Uh, if you got goo on it or anything, you can use like a bug and tar remover of some sort or spray it directly on it. Let it sit, let it sit for maybe a minute after spraying on it. This one doesn't really need it. With it all the way down, you can clean it, sit more safe. Yeah, as good as possible. But come around back, and here's the back part here. See, you're not going to be able to get it because there's some um, clamps in the way. So what you need to do, the clamps all the way down. I'm going to be pulling on this, the back part of it here, to lift it up. Now it's usually stuck when it's down. You know, so what you want to do is you'll feel it where it hits. So just kind of just rock it a little bit. Don't get your fingers cut in here. Keep your fingers in the middle and just kind of. Rock it, hit it a little few times, and it'll finally break loose. You know, you just kind of boom, 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 then break it free, and then it should go up smoothly by hand. This is with the cutter off. Okay, so I'm just bringing it up by hand. Again, the back part of it, and you're pulling towards it, towards the side of the machine until you get it high enough until you can pretty much see the whole blade. So I'm going to do it. Just I would let that, if you got a lot of goo, just let it, you got some good um, bug and tar remover or goo remover, let it sit for a minute or two and then wipe it off. And this you can pretty much get all the back of the blade right here and down as low as possible there. But be careful if it's not all the way down because the, this thing is extremely sharp. Wad this up, wad this up really good to where, and your, where your fingers is nowhere near it, you know, and you're just. If it's going to cut anything, it can cut the rag if it catches it. And that's pretty much it. If you if you wield this up too high and you turn it on the, and you try to reverse this blade, this clamp will, will, will go up and error out because it's past the sensor now. So you want to roll it down a little bit now, back to where you don't have to go all the way down, but just go halfway down and make sure it's down because when you reverse this blade, if you had this clamp all the way up, it would have went past the sensor right here. And then it would try to go up when you reverse it and it would error out and there would be an error fault because it, it's past the sensor already. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead. Once you get it clean, you can just um, go ahead and pause this. And I'm just going to basically put this crown back on to where you can um, reverse it. Okay, I got the crown up here. I'm by myself. If you had two people, it's easier. But I just kind of get it down the side here and just hook it behind this plate here on this side so I can free my hands up and plug this in 
If you had two people, one person can just be holding the other can plug it in for you. Now you just gotta lift it up off this. If you lift it too high, you can potentially unplug this, so just be careful not to unplug it. And come on down with it. You wanna get this thing on the, you wanna make sure you don't get this on the inside of that. There's that thing, you wanna get this on the outside on, for both sides. And then you can put your um, shield back on and, your, and put the screws back in. But um, let's turn this on. And we're just gonna reverse it now. Get the blade back to the top and the clamp. And it's these two middle buttons here. And see, there is still some there because the blade goes behind there. And you can clean this, but just again, be very careful. You can spray a little stuff on your brag here, wad it up, keep your fingers completely away from it. And you just kind of go, go downward. Don't try to go side to side or anything like that. Just kind of down where your fingers don't touch it, but you're cleaning the bottom of the blade. Again, it's just it's a safety thing. You just got to be very careful. You just realize you are dealing with a, basically a giant razor blade here. So you do not want to touch it in any way with your fingers. Make sure it's only the rag touching it. This video was published by NBKPInternational.com.